Welcome to this deep dive. You know, going through these notes, it seems like someone's ready to give their mindset a total overhaul. Yeah. It's like building a mental gym in here, getting ready to tackle anything. Absolutely. And speaking of tackling things, the first strategy that stood out to me is all about embracing challenges. I mean, it's not like we enjoy setbacks, yeah, right? Of but course not. But these notes, they go beyond just dealing with challenges. It's yeah. about seeing them almost as um, opportunities. Oh, I like that. So it's not just about grinning and bearing it, but actually believing that challenges can be good. Exactly. Think of it this way. Every challenge you overcome, it makes you tougher. Kind of like, you know, how lifting weights makes your muscles stronger. Makes sense. Each time you face something tough and you figure out how to get through, yeah. you're basically becoming more ready for whatever comes next. So it's less about asking why me and more about what can I learn from this when things get difficult. Exactly. That shift in thinking is huge. Because when you're looking for what you can learn, even if it's a tough situation, you're in control. You're not letting it get to you. You're taking that potential setback and you're turning it into like fuel for growth. Which brings us to the next point, doesn't it? Focusing on what we can control. That feels like a big one for a lot of people, myself included. Oh, absolutely. The notes really emphasize knowing the difference between what you can influence, like our actions, mm -hmm. our attitude, versus things you can't control. Things like other people's decisions or, you know, unexpected stuff that just happens. Because let's face it, we can't control everything, but we can control how we react. And that's the key. Instead of wasting energy stressing about things you can't change, mm -hmm. you focus on making the best choices you can with what you can influence. And that's where you find some peace. And honestly, that's how you succeed. It's almost like you're putting up this force field of control around yourself. Life's still going to throw stuff at you, but you get to decide how it affects you. Exactly. It's like you get to set the rules of the game, yeah. you know. And that actually kind of reminds me of the next strategy here, cultivating a growth mindset. This one's a big one for me. Oh, I'm with you. Ever since I first came across Carol Dweck's work, this whole growth mindset thing has fascinated me. It's like you're allowed to not be perfect, you know? Right. And what's cool is these notes point out, it's not just about like intelligence or something. It's about anything you want to get better at, any skill, any challenge. You approach it knowing you can improve. So it's not about some natural born talent. It's about being willing to put in the work, even if it gets messy. Exactly. It's those little wins you get along the way. You know, when you push yourself and something clicks, it's not about being perfect right this second. It's about like enjoying getting better. I love that. No pressure to have all the answers right away. You can try things out, make mistakes, learn as you go. Yeah. And those so-called mistakes, they become like feedback, not failures. Each one tells you how to adjust, you get better. Much better way to look at it. So we've got embracing challenges, focusing on what we control, and this whole growth mindset thing. But then there's this one, self-discipline. I'll be honest, that one doesn't always sound fun. I hear you. But the way these notes talk about self-discipline, it's not about punishing yourself or anything. It's more like it's a key ingredient to actually reaching your goals. It's about making choices that line up with what you want, even when it's not the easy choice. So like that classic image, right? Choosing the salad when you really want a burger, your stomach might be grumbling, but your long-term goals, they're winning. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> and, and the notes made this great comparison. It's like self-discipline is a muscle. The more you use it, the stronger it gets. It's about setting up those good habits, those little things you do every day that move you towards your goals, even when you just don't feel like it. Because let's be real, motivation, it comes and goes. It's like that friend who's always down for a good time, but sometimes bails on the day-to-day -day stuff. Yes, but self-discipline, that's the friend who's always there, you know? Yeah. They always have your back, they help you stay on track when things are tough, and that's what gets you those big results down the line. Love the analogy. Self-discipline, your reliable workout buddy. Yeah. Okay, so we've got embracing challenges, focusing on what we can control, growth mindset, building self-discipline. What's the last piece of the mindset puzzle? Well, the last strategy, it's all about your environment. Surrounding yourself with, you know, good influences, positive stuff. You know, that's something I've been thinking about a lot lately. It's like, we're so careful about what we eat, how we exercise, but then there's all this information, all this energy we're taking in, and we don't always think about that. You it's, know? it's huge. And these notes, they really hit on that. Being aware of the stuff we're reading, watching, listening to, the people we hang out with, even just the physical spaces we're in, are they lifting us up or dragging us down? It's like you're creating your own little world, right? Yeah. Filling it with things and people that inspire you, support you. I like that. Creating your own world. Because it really is a choice, isn't it? Every single day, 
we can choose to scroll through negativity or we can look for stuff that teaches us something, makes us laugh. Oh, for sure. Can't forget the importance of laughter. And when you surround yourself with people who make you laugh, who lift you up, it's like instant good vibes, you know? Absolutely. And here's the thing, when you make that choice to have more positivity around you, it kind of <laughs> snowballs, you know? You start to see more of it everywhere. Like you're training your brain to seek out the good stuff. So to recap our little mindset makeover here, we've got embracing those challenges, focusing on what we can control, cultivating that growth mindset, building up that self-discipline muscle, and surrounding ourselves with all the good vibes. Nailed it. And the cool thing is these aren't just like one-time things, right? They're practices. Yeah. You build these habits day after day, and that's how you make real change. It's true. We've given you the ingredients, the recipe, but you got to get in that kitchen and cook up that awesome life, right? So after all this, what's sticking with you? What are you ready to put into action?